Today, as you just heard, we'll be looking at the unethical behaviours of Nestle. various research, we discovered three main unethical issues regarding Nestle. First of all, uh, due to aggressive marketing of milk powder, this caused the replacement of breast milk in developed countries. Additionally, marketing in developing countries was not adjusted to countries where there was no general access to pure water. As a result, many babies died from inadequate bottle feeding. Another unethical factor is the advertising of unhealthy cereals on kids' channels during peak hours. For example, after school, this pressurized parents to buy this cereal for their kids. Lastly, Nestle is also criticized for unethical trade when buying raw materials such as cocoa from farmers in the third world countries. But the question we have to answer ourselves is Nestle to blame. As you can see, Nestle has had its fair share of bad publicity. However, the issue that we will be concentrating on and has brought about a lot of controversy over the years is Nestle's baby milk scandal. Now my colleague, I'm going to talk about the next one. So what went wrong? These are some of the quotes we found regarding the baby milk controversy. Uh, Mr. Lowe, head of Nestle's nutrition investment, said, Breastfeeding is better. We will salute and say this every day, but the world won't believe us. And the Baby Milk Action Organization said, Marketing practices that undermine breastfeeding are potentially hazardous wherever they are pursued. The UNICEF and the World Health Organization said, Improper practices in the marketing of breast milk substitutes and related products can contribute to major health problems. <coughs> so based on this, we have come up with three theories. Firstly, we will look at the leadership grid. The style approach focuses mainly on the behaviour of the leader, on what they do and how they act. Focusing on the leadership grid, in terms of Nestle, they fit in the authority compliance management. This means that they focus more on the operation and making profit rather than the human elements. 
For example, the effect of Nestle's marketing powdered milk products to consumers in third world countries. As explained earlier, uh, the milk powder was not suitable due to environmental factors, but Nestle didn't take this into consideration. As a group, we believe that Nestle should, be, should aim to be at the middle of the road management, as this is adequate organisation performance, as well as maintaining ethical standards for their consumers at a satisfactory level. I will now pass you to Lee, who is going to talk to you about the second theory. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the second theory which focuses on consequence theory. In terms of Nestle, it fits right in the ethical egoism. For example, Nestle at this stage is only thinking about how they can gain higher profits rather than impact their products would be on customers. Both top management and their employees are always on the urge to increase their earnings rather than taking the next step for looking out for the people in the outer world in terms of the products they provide. They should have a healthy balance between the care of people and reaching company targets. As a group, we believe that Nestle should aim to reach utilitarianism with the teleological approach which focuses on the company having concern of self-interest as well as concern for the interest of others. However, in terms of the baby milk powder issue, company executives argue <coughs> that they were selling the product to help mothers that were unable to breastfeed. In terms of the dentological approach, they were acting in order to benefit society. Now, Zara, I'm going to talk about the third theory. Okay, moving on to the third theory, it's the character theory of unethical behaviour. So, in terms of the character theory and unethical behaviour, an ethical leader should have these particular characteristics, which are respect for others, save others, sorry, um, serve others, build communities, manifest honesty, and show justice. In terms of Nestle, they are serving the community as they provide a wide range of products. However, in terms of the baby milk formula issue, they denied all allegations of being the reason for the death of many children. Hence, they did not manifest honesty. Additionally, they sued the countries that accused them with these allegations. So rather than building communities, they caused disruption within various communities. We're, going to, and we're now going to move on to our conclusion. So to conclude, after carrying out various research, we discovered that the main issue was that Nestle continued to market their baby milk formula. Eventually, this caused a negative effect as it replaced breast milk altogether. This in turn caused the deaths of many infants in third world countries. As shown earlier, 1.5 billion children die a year from unsafe powdered milk. However, Nestle benefited with a profit of 2.7 billion in 2007 from selling baby milk powder. <coughs> uh, this show, showed that their main aim was just to gain profit rather than thinking of others. Additionally, they denied all allegations for being the cause of this scandal. We believe that Nestle was to blame, as they didn't take any responsibility for their action. This caused them to get a lot of bad reputation and lose many of their uh, customers due to boycotts. Okay, now moving on to our recommendations. So, in order to avoid controversy, we recommend that Le Le Nestle should have taken responsibility for their actions. They should have also stopped marketing powdered milk in third world countries and understand consumer needs and differentiate their product to suit those needs. And lastly, they should have followed their own values, which is to understand, anticipate and best fulfil our consumer needs. Uh, now we're going to be talking about what are the uh, methodology we have used. Uh, we used different resources such as uh, web links, uh, newspapers, times, um, and then YouTube as well, and uh, BBC News. As you can see, we've used the next lecture slides and the leadership theory book. Uh, other sources as, such as I said, YouTube, uh, Economist, and newspapers such as Guardian, the New York Times, etc. Anyway, 
Thank you very much. Now we would like to show you any questions. And before answering our questions, I'm going to leave that seat. Someplace to get to the top. Yeah, they didn't even, they didn't even go. Yeah, yeah. as a first step to go. Yeah. In, the future, in, the, in the future, they should be going there. Not, yeah. not as in, like, they should stay be going there. Yeah. Yeah. Moving um, on to that group. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you. 